bun găsit, doamnelor și domnilor, vă spunem de la Timișoara, unde avem onoarea de a fi alături de excelența sa, Kathleen Kvalek, ambasador al Statelor Unite ale Americii în România și care îi spunem, spunem bun venit în Timișoara. Bine ați venit! Bine v-am găsit! Domnul Kvalek, știu că um, sunteți legată de România și aș vrea să începem în română, dacă se poate. Povestind o să puțin, încerc. Vă mulțumim. Povestind puțin despre cum vi se pare că arată acum Timișoara, cum arată, um, cum ați simțit orașul? Uh, am simțit că orașul acum este uh, foarte frumos, văd uh, multe schimbări. Uh, și cred că uh, acest an va fi un an, e, un an excepțional. Uh, am simțit uh, uh, bucuria uh, 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 de această uh, frumoasă, de, frumos titlu de, mm -hmm. de uh, Timișoara, de uh, capital european uh, de cultură. Uh, și am fost în Sibiu acum uh, mulți ani când era uh, în tot, uh, de asemenea un capital de cultură și știu uh, cât a crescut uh, orașul după aia și cred că uh, aceeași lucru uh, poate se întâmpla aici în uh, Timișoara. Your Excellency, you came to Timișoara to attend the opening of the most important uh, cultural event of our city. It's hosting in the recent history. So, what are your first impressions about all that happened in Timișoara yesterday? Uh, it was a wonderful day uh, and I was so uh, happy to be here. As I said, uh, I had the opportunity to be in Sibiu, which was also a wonderful event. Mm -hmm. uh, yesterday was just as uh, lovely. Um, the concert in the square, uh, all the people who've come, uh, all the visitors that are here. Uh, there's just a wonderful sensation of um, Uh, both uh, uh, hope, uh, aspiration, and just, uh, you know, celebration of culture and celebration of Timișoara as uh, uh, an attractive place to come to, uh, a city with a future, uh, a city uh, that uh, celebrates its diversity uh, and uh, elevates culture for everyone. It's something that you like the most. Uh, I would have to say that the concert with uh, Taraf de Kaliu was like uh, uh, mind-blowing. It was really, uh, the music is wonderful and I thought they put on a spectacular performance and it seemed to me that everyone uh, really enjoyed it. Uh, I guess I missed the acrobats. I guess they were also uh, excellent. Uh, so uh, I know there are going to be many more activities and I look forward to coming back uh, to enjoying some of those. So freedom, liberty, liberty to enjoy whatever you feel like. I would like to talk a little bit about um, the three decades that mm -hmm. have passed since uh, the revolution. Uh -huh. It all started here in, yes. in Timisoara. So um, how do you see Romania during this process? Mm -hmm. Well, I think, uh, you know, it, the, the thing about uh, Timisoara and, and the start here of the revolution, um, I think It was a leadership role that Timișoara took in expressing the will of the people to have a, a more democratic, a more progressive uh, society uh, for, for everyone in the country, and that it was an important moment in the expression of, of democratic uh, values and desires of the people. Uh, and I think that is a, a spirit that spread to the rest of the country. Uh, so uh, it, it has been wonderful to see how Romania has uh, developed uh, in the period since then. The economy has grown, the opening to the West, uh, the, the um, talents of the people, uh, you know, Romanians are doing many wonderful things uh, all, all over the world in business, in culture, uh, in sports. Um, so it's been uh, uh, gratifying to watch, uh, particularly since joining the EU in 2007, since joining NATO. Um, you know, this is a country that uh, is moving forward and uh, becoming uh, more successful, I think, with every year. Your Excellency, what are the priorities of your mandate? Uh, well, I, uh, for my mandate, uh, thank you, first of all, for asking that question. Um, it's an honor to be here, first of all, uh, serving as ambassador. 
And uh, during my mandate, I hope to focus on three areas. Uh, first and foremost is security, of course. Um, this is a critical moment in European history and transatlantic history. Unfortunately, with the unprovoked, illegal, and horrific attack by Russia on uh, Romania's neighbor, Ukraine, and it's essential that we stand united against this uh, and we support Ukraine uh, together. So um, my focus will be on reinforcing and strengthening our security cooperation, uh, both through expanding capabilities here in Romania uh, by standing united in our support uh, for Ukraine, and just in more generally uh, deepening our security um, cooperation within the alliance of NATO. Uh, the second is promoting trade and investment. Uh, there is already a, a large American presence here in uh, Romania. American companies have uh, cr helped create 100,000 jobs uh, in uh, Romania, including here in Timisoara. There are some uh, very prominent American companies operating. Uh, so my hope is to bring more investment, including uh, in the area of energy, uh, in particular in uh, nuclear power and renewable energy, uh, and we will be working on that. And that's also part of the issue of security. Uh, of one has to have energy security in addition to physical security. Uh, and then the third area is supporting uh, democracy, uh, and particularly in areas such as uh, rule of law, combating corruption, uh, which is an eternal struggle in any country. Um, freedom of the media is very important. And I look forward to engaging uh, uh, with the media on a regular basis. So thank you for having me here today in your studio. We thank you for being here today. At the security conference in Munich yesterday, uh, Western leaders pledged for support, uh, support for Ukraine as long as necessary. This confirmed once more the possibility of a prolonged uh, conflict by, uh, by Russia. What is the risk, risk, in your opinion, for the war to spill into neighboring countries like Romania? Well, um, first of all, uh, this is why the alliance exists, to prevent that. And uh, that's why the security cooperation and unity is so important, uh, because that is the strongest uh, deterrent uh, to uh, ex the war having expanded. And I think, I think uh, that will be effective. Uh, as long as we stand uh, united and work together. Um, I think uh, I want to uh, reiterate what President Biden has said, uh, that our support for Ukraine is unwavering and that we will support Ukraine for as long as it takes. Um, I think that uh, I, I would like to use this moment also uh, to mention um, the support I've seen in Timisoara for Ukrainian refugees. Uh, I visited an NGO yesterday, LOGS, that has done a great deal uh, to support um, uh, Ukrainian refugees who have come here to the city. And I've spoken with some of the Ukrainian refugees who uh, uniformly told me how well received they were here, how much empathy, support uh, they received. And I want to thank everyone in Timisoara and the region uh, who opened their hearts uh, and their doors uh, to these families who very much want to return home as soon as possible. Uh, so uh, thank you to everyone who's done that. I'm happy to say that our American Corner is hosting uh, classes, English classes also for Ukrainian uh, refugees. Um, and uh, they, they are uniformly appreciative and uh, hoping that the war will end soon so that they can return home. How does uh, the United States view Romania's uh, military support for Ukraine? Mm -hmm. I, I think uh, in the United States, I heard um, uniformly uh, positive uh, views of Romania as, uh, first of all, a model ally in the alliance. Uh, Romania has increased its funding uh, for security, uh, uh, for military uh, within the context of the alliance. Uh, it has. Uh, gone, I think, above and beyond in terms of supporting Ukraine uh, in a number of areas. I mentioned the refugees. Uh, Romania has accepted uh, uh, over that over three million uh, Ukrainian refugees have been able to transit uh, and is also currently uh, hosting over 100,000 uh, refugees in the country. Romania has helped with grain uh, shipments, uh, improving ports. Uh, improving the canal uh, to move grain to help Ukraine. Uh, it has helped uh, in 
uh, other areas as well. Uh, so I think um, the view in Washington is very positive uh, and particularly uh, for being willing to host uh, a greater contingent of uh, NATO troops, um, including American troops, American forces. We've gone from just about 1,000 American uh, troops in Romania to over 3,000 uh, in several locations. Uh, so the view, I think, is, is very, very positive uh, in uh, Washington on Romania's contribution. The strength of the military cooperation between United States and Romania is outstanding. Yes. However, the challenge, challenges uh, brought by Russia's aggressions are raising uh, mm -hmm. the need of even more mm -hmm. actions in, yes. uh, in order to strengthen the, the defense of our region. Yeah. What are the next uh, specific steps that uh, will be taken in this uh, direction? Uh, I think, uh, I mean, we will continue the existing uh, cooperation. I, I don't have anything new to announce uh, at the moment, uh, but uh, we are, um, you know, there are several uh, areas where uh, cooperation is expanding in terms of training, in terms of uh, military acquisitions uh, for Romanian military, in terms of uh, aircraft, uh, in terms of defense, uh, 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 HIMARS and uh, other types of systems uh, to reinforce uh, Romania's ability to defend itself and the alliance. Uh, recently, the incident uh, generated by the presence of a Chinese balloon over the United uh -huh. States yes. remind us, actually, that the global security challenges, uh, challenges are not limited to Russia's uh, actions. Mm -hmm. So how should Romania address these challenges? Well, this is another area where I think the existing co cooperation is, uh, uh, you know, uh, has developed uh, across a range of capabilities, whether it's air, land, and sea. Uh, so I think that uh, the cooperation that exists already will be sufficient to confront new threats, uh, whatever they m may be or from wherever direction they might come. As you said before, one of the most active areas of cooperation between the uh, United States and uh, Romania is uh, nuclear energy. Mm -hmm. How do you assess uh, the progress of uh, common projects, especially the ones regarding civil uh, nuclear energy? Uh -huh. Well, these, I, these are at the beginning stages, of course. Uh, so some important uh, agreements and letters of intent have been signed to proceed. Uh, both with the Chernavoda nuclear reactor, the refurbishment of the uh, first unit and the uh, building of uh, uh, reactors three and four. Uh, that's a long process that will take uh, 10 years or so, I think. Uh, so we're at the beginning stages, but uh, everything seems to be going well. Uh, uh, you know, there'll be issues of financing and construction to work out. Uh, that will take some time. The other is uh, in the area of um, uh, a new uh, type of technology. It's, it's an old technology being applied in a new way, and that is uh, small modular reactors. Uh, Romania is uh, signed up uh, to uh, also develop in this area. Again, this will take uh, at least eight years, I think, to complete. Uh, so it's at the beginning stage, but I would say at the moment everything looks uh, very promising. Uh, the um, expertise exists, the interest exists, um, the will, that's the most important thing that exists. Uh, so uh, we're very optimistic uh, that that will move forward. So speaking about the will, during the last year, uh, Romania was mentioned in State Department's report as not doing enough to combat um, trafficking in persons. Yeah. Recently, the opening of a criminal investigation in the activities of two American citizens, the Tate brothers, mm -hmm. brought back um, into public attention the, this issue of trafficking in persons. What do you think about uh, Romania's progress here? Uh, well, first of all, you, you cited the report, but our most recent report uh, observed progress. And so Romania is no longer on the State Department's watch list in this area. It was removed given the progress that has occurred. Um, I'd like to say that the cooperation with the government in this area has been very positive, including with the Prime Minister's office. Uh, and we're encouraged to see uh, growing awareness of the problem. Uh, growing willingness to engage uh, and try to prevent this type of um, uh, crime. Uh, and we'll continue to um, work in this area uh, with partners, not only in the government, but in the NGO 
um, area as well. I mentioned one of the NGOs here in Timisoara, LOGS, that also works in this area. Uh, so we look forward to expanding uh, our cooperation. Obviously, it's a, a, another one of those problems that uh, uh, needs continual attention uh, because if you don't address it, it will only grow. Your Excellency, I would like to talk a little bit about your uh, your next important points uh -huh. on, your, on your agenda. Uh -huh. Agenda, which uh, which of them are they? Oh well, there. Uh, uh, I'm at the very beginning of my mandate, so I have a lot of things uh, on my list of things to do, including visiting uh, the many sites where mm -hmm. our uh, militaries are cooperating. Uh, so I look forward to visiting Mikhail Kolganichano. Uh, as well as other sites. Mm -hmm. um, I'm looking, for, I just uh, was uh, at an American Chamber of Commerce event meeting with all the companies, uh, and I want to travel a great deal. Uh, I'm, I'm uh, very happy to be here in Timisoara. This is my first trip outside of Bucharest, uh, but I want to get around uh, the country and uh, see, um, you know, how our cooperation is evolving to uh, meet with uh, American companies that are investing here uh, and to meet with the NGO community and the media uh, community uh, to hear about their challenges and, and support their efforts. Is there any place in Romania that uh, you are attached in a particular uh, uh, way? Well, there are so many. I have to say it's hard to, hard to uh, just say one. Uh, when we were here before, we uh, enjoyed Brasov and Sig uh, Sigishwara, I mentioned Sibiu as well. Uh, we loved Maramures. Uh, I'd love to go back. Uh, and, uh, you know, Bukovina as well. Everything uh, has been uh, uh, amazing. Uh, I'd like to spend more time on the coast. I uh, didn't get a chance to do as much of that. Uh, so I uh, have lots of goals. Um, uh, I'm an amateur photographer, so I love to get out with my camera. And uh, so um, uh, I, I think there's no limit to places uh, that we'd like to get to. Your Excellency, you already said you like Timisoara. We are here in the University of West in, uh, in Timisoara, the space uh, we are having this, uh, this interview. How do you see the University of Timisoara? Uh, well, uh, thanks for asking that question. I really have enjoyed my visit today uh, to the University of the West. Uh, when I walked in, I saw a, a great uh, meeting of young uh, people playing chess and doing some artwork. So I can see that the year of culture is taking off here at the university. Uh, I had a great meeting with the rector, and uh, I was glad to hear uh, that they're launching a new partnership with the University of Maryland in the United States on cybersecurity. Uh, so they'll be offering a joint degree, and that's a, a really important uh, program, I think, that will attract a lot of interest. It's a very hot topic right now in the world. Uh, in addition, uh, we have a, there's a great American Studies program here, uh, and there is also a great participation in our Fulbright program uh, exchanges as well. And I was heartened to hear that the university has also accepted Ukrainian students and even has, is hosting a couple of Ukrainian professors. Uh, so I think that speaks again to um, the uh, perspective of the city of Timisoara, uh, the fact that there's a strong university uh, which has a very uh, uh, deep international focus. Uh, so I, I think that will help with the development of the city and certainly be attractive to foreign companies who would like to invest here, including American companies. Your Excellency, thank you so much for this interview. Uh, thank you so much for having me. I appreciate it. Acesta a fost, domnilor și domnilor, interviul realizat aici la Timișoara, alături de excelența sa, Kathleen Kevalek, ambasador al Statelor Unite ale Americii în România.